Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tim and welcome to our wonderful stream. Today we've got more Jackbox Party Pack people over here and we're gonna play... Well, wow, wow, literally got that backwards. I've been doing it right all day and literally the one time that it mattered when we are actually live and recording, I got it completely wrong. <laughs> That's how nervous I am to do this again today. Um, we're Aww. going to play Jackbox games with my favorite people over at the Shapeshifting Detective. Welcome guys. Hey. Hey. Hi there. So, Hola. just going around the horn, we have a large group of people, so I'm going to introduce each one of you individually, and then we can get used <coughs> to your voices as we go through the day. Uh, our returning players, we of course have Tim and Linda Cowles. Hello, I'm Tim. <laughs> I'm Linda. Excellent. Hello. And, then the, and then Stephen. Hi, I'm Steve. And then Rupert Booth. Hi, I'm Rupert. Fly me. Oh, wow. That was... Mm, ah. mm. Sexy in my ear. And Miss Anna Rosa. Come on, tries. Hello. Hi, everybody. Excellent. So glad to have you with us this time. And of course, Joe Ma. Hello. Hiya. Welcome, welcome. And our wonderful Mr. X, Jared Nelson. Hello. Hi there. So glad that you guys <laughs> could join us, join me today. I, I really am glad to have you back. And uh, again, I just want to start by saying I apologize for cutting short last time. I, I still, I think about that a lot. I want you to know, I think about that a lot and just how, how much I kick myself over that. <laughs> so we are here today. We're going to play more patently stupid. We're going to go for a much more lengthy period of time. And without any further bother, let's get a game going, shall we? Let's do it. So Ugh. we're here in patently stupid. Let's get this room code. There we go. So the room code is going to be unhidden right now. The room code is going to be typed into the chat. So you guys here in the Skype call are going to want to look at the chat. As soon as I log, log in. Almost said it out loud as I was typing it in. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Do we press play then? Uh, not just yet. Okay, well, good. Uh, oh, you're fine. Actually, yes. Yes, you can. So that way it logs you into the room. Sorry, I thought you had a different button. I'm looking at this press A to start here. Okay. Espresso for Keith. Espresso for Keith. I'm having an error. An Wait, do error. we have it? Oh, we do. Okay, yeah. I got it. What is your error, Rupert? Uh, error zero. Hmm, that's not good. Mm. Maybe try refreshing the page. <laughs> Let me just, uh, I'll try refreshing the page. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, yes. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, yes, chat. I am always a professional. Thank you very much for pointing that out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? It wouldn't be one of my streams if I didn't. Fuck yes, it. there we go. My error is sorted. In the cafe. Excellent. Come in if for, order something, somebody came in, was talking in the actual game, and because I get all that sky. feed at once, I was like, who's telling me not to be loud right now? That's literally the whole point of what we're doing today. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people here in the game, which means we are ready huh, to bring it back live for everyone else to see. Now you all can see the beautiful game there. The room code is UKXZ, which, as everyone knows, stands for um, ukuleles, kalu, uh, kazoos, xylophones, and zebras. Yeah? Is... Excellent. All right, with the full room in here, we're Just ready to go ahead and start. Any of you who did not uh, have the ability to jump we into will, the game however, proper, feel free to join in the audience with that same room code, going to jackbox.tv. It's a fun way, if you don't want to be one of the principal participants, you can still be in the money giving round that's at the end. Hello, welcome to the You know seminar. what I mean? Yeah. My name is Toby, and this is my All right, so now you guys get a little explanation as to exactly what's going on here. I'll kind of be quiet for those who weren't here last time. That's right, Lena. We've got a packed room of eight. But more importantly, this room is packed with future millionaires. Great. So now that the doors are securely locked, let's get down to brass tacks. How are we going to make you rich? Simple. By unlocking your potential. The potential to invent. And as Lena said, the doors are securely locked. Kicking them can only injure you. It's true. Escape is not possible. Now everybody knows the best inventions solve big problems. 
That's right, Lena. And to identify those big problems, we'll need to do something we call market research. On your device, you're going to receive two fill-in-the-blank prompts. Type in anything at all. And voila, you've created a problem. Now your created problems get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative masterpieces. Yep, so this is the part where we get to mess with each other. You're going to get two prompts. You fill in both of them uh, with your best answer. We won't say the funniest. We won't say, but your best. <laughs> and it's going to be great for everybody to solve your problem. Uh, I'm going to put in... Ooh. Uh-huh, and then I have too many, um, <laughs> do I really want to start with that? Mm, I think I'll save that for the next one. <laughs> do we have a Not rating in. that we're aiming for? No. <laughs> no. Okay. We can be Good. as mature as you like or as immature as you like, however you want to phrase it. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Trust me, with, between the claw bastard from last time and some of the other machinations that came around, I, I, yeah, we are all standing in good company. Wonderful. We, um, last time, Rupert came up with this awful invention called the claw bastard, which was made to jam two animals together in a homunculus of horror. Well, and, I was um, given the problem to jam the two animals together. I mean, you know, you can't put it all on me. <laughs> Very true, but that became the running joke of the entire night. And it was great. And so we do have one chat member that's actually in the game himself, Dan. Uh, and so, Dan, if you want to, now you can either device. type in the chat for your pitch or uh, let me say it, whatever you want to do. Simply pick the one you want All right, to solve. now you Ooh. get to pick your problem. Which problem do you want to solve? Uh... <laughs> yeah, right. I think I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Fantastic! Now it's time to solve that problem. That's right. This is the pivotal moment where you bring your designs to life using nothing but a pen and paper. But we ran out of paper, so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. No, oh, that's okay. Cocktail napkins are plenty big enough for drawing inventions, and don't right? Don't be afraid to use a little color. Also, while you're they're at it. paper. <laughs> Very true. It does actually count as paper. Okay, I have a problem. How am I going to solve the problem? Hmm. Okay, so I am drawing here. And feel free to kind of enunciate as best you can the thing that you're drawing if you want to share your inventions with the world. Yeah. You keep quiet. This is, this is real concentration right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can hear it in everyone. The cogs are ticking in my brain. We're halfway home. Okay, and then. God, drawing with a mouse is just the worst. It's terrible. <clears throat> Oh, I am a horrible artist. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that happening? Is horrible. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. I got it. I'm good. Only a few seconds left to draw. That's not. <laughs> How long was that? Uh, I think you long. get about 45 <laughs> seconds. 45 to 60 seconds. <laughs> it's right. not long enough. Not long enough. Let's go. All right. Now write a title and a tagline for your invention. <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> I 
It's funny, I enjoy coming up with the title and taglines. I think almost as much as I love drawing the thing. We're halfway there. Turn your fails into whales and yell at somebody if you're upset. Have any of us seen Joe Dirt? Yes, yes I have. It's a good movie. I liked it. Good old David Spade giving his damn level best. <laughs> when the going gets tough, give up anyway. No one's going to remember you. <laughs> <laughs> always, always inspirational, those quotes. Really. Is... Time's running out. Excellent. That's... So that's need everyone it. in? And now we have the pitch meeting. Now, each of you <laughs> so each of us are going to go around in line, pitch your inventions to the best of your really ability. They, you have two options too. there. This One no that says let job. the game pitch <laughs> for you and the other says now, let me control it. Those inventions. Generally speaking, it's better to pick let me control it because then you can put out your tagline, your title, and your picture in the order that you want as you pitch. Okay. So, it's... Uh, my vacations are always ruined by rabid ducks. I don't know about you, but this is a huge problem. Um, especially when you holiday in the UK. How are you gonna, how are you gonna quack that one? <laughs> uh, I'm glad you asked, Tim. Um, what we've come up with, and I'll show you what it looks like first. Um, huh. Yeah, so here we have a, a rabid duck on the right, as you can see, and the lure on the left is obviously uh, a slice of bread. And then in between, there's a plump <laughs> sort of pit. Um, and really, the key to this is the microwaves underneath, which really take the rabidness out of the duck and make it all nice and tender. Um, oh, I see what the plump sauce <laughs> is for now. And it's called Duck Right Off. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go quackers. And we're done. That's brilliant. Brilliant. Now, what is that Milko wave? Microwave. <laughs> oh, mi okay, got it, got it, got it. I see, so it was a war with duck sauce, got it, okay. <laughs> All right, so it is my turn. I will present, and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever had too many financial debts? Don't we all in this day and age, student debt, medical debt, health insurance, video games, we all get in trouble with debt. How are you gonna solve all those problems? Well, we have the draw, the, the exact thing for you. The debt shredder. Don't you worry. You can take all of those pesky debt bills, shred them down, take those individual shreds over to the recycling plant, and literally turning your bills into money. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the debt shredder. Leave them without a shred of evidence. <laughs> Thank you very nice. much. Nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> As you, I th this is my favorite game. This is my very favorite game that I think Jackbox has ever made, short of, well, you don't know Jack itself. Okay. I will present. I have to admit something uh, to you all now, which I'm a little bit embarrassed to say out loud, but the truth is I have trouble climbing jelly mountains. Oh, well, that's very brave of you to come forward. I hear it's a, a common problem which many people suffer with, and so I have decided to uh, so I can navigate this problem with a little invention I call the Jelly Ascender. <laughs> it's, nice. uh, it's, it's in very high demand and so I want to make the climbing of the Jelly Mountain <laughs> a more pleasurable experience. So as we can see, with my incredibly detailed drawing of a Jelly Mountain, uh, <laughs> the Ascender is, uh, is a, a long wire with a, a pin on each end and it just shoot you right up to the top of the mountain and you will be up there admiring the view in no time at all. The Jelly Ascender. No mountain is too high or sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Nice. nice. Does, does this nice. work with all flavor, Jelly Mountains? Uh, it works with every flavor, every color. You you can get right up to the top. <laughs> Beautiful. So I use my Jellycopter. <laughs> all right, Miss Santa Rosa, <laughs> your turn. Jellycopter. Right. Well, here's the thing. So, uh, as we all know, um, there's a little issue of uh, I'm just I'm just scared to apologize, basically. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've all gone through that problem. When you're scared to apologize, what happens? You get put in the doghouse, <laughs> and people are very angry with you. And you're like, what's going on? So here is my invention. 
This is a doghouse mask. So you put it on when people know that you're too frightened to apologize. And underneath it, that's the body of a human. And, obviously, <laughs> and that's you smiling because you can't apologize, but you've got the mask on, so it's apologizing for you. And basically, it's barking mad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. That's one. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. End scene, exit stage left. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so, who's our next inventor? Uh, we have Mr. Rupert. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Wait, oh, God. Oh, yeah, so, so, <laughs> sorry, I got. I wish I knew what it was like to be turned inside out. Whoever oh, thought of that you, will Rupert, find them really and do you. this to them. Um, <laughs> so, kind of. Yeah, um, <laughs> inversion bastard. I love, it. I love um, it. Following on my, my theme of bastardry, which I think might be a kind of TM now. And what it does, well, you can guess what it does. It's kind of a massive claw, and it inverts you. And there, there's a, a little person there, happily being, well, they're not very happy, as you can see, because they're kind of going, ooh. Um, and all their inside bits are coming out and being put all over the place. So that's, that's a very simple, straightforward, metal way of finding out what it's like to be turned inside out by being turned inside out so inversion Amazing. bastard when you need to show some guts and a duodenum and stomach parts <laughs> <laughs> i haven't heard the word duodenum since school thank you for bringing oh that back Rupert. God. it's like something from hellraiser <laughs> oh my I'm, I'm god glad that's I'm a here biology class <laughs> all right oh. so our, our friend in chat dan is up here his skin, or his family, needs more skin. Oh, okay. version bastard. I was about to say, <laughs> our invention seems to, be, seems to be together here. Uh, oh, he's typing in chat. Excellent. So his family is needing a, uh, a bit, is getting a bit saffy? I don't know what that means. But they need to fix this. So we've got the Buffalo Bills lotion. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. So in the process of harvesting skin, we get... Well, the Buffalo Bill lotion. As you <laughs> lower the basket in, it allows people to Is that, put the lotion are they, are on they, the skin. Are they trying to hang themselves? What's going on there? No, that's putting lotion on the skin. Oh, is it? Putting well, lotion on the, the uh -huh. skin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gone with, would you fuck me? I'd fuck. <laughs> they, it's been years since I've seen that movie. Oh, my God. But the, you know what's funny to me? The guy that played Buffalo Bill ends up becoming the detective in Monk, Ted Levine. No way! Yes, absolutely. I loved that, that is show. Buffalo Bill. I loved Monk. That was mm -hmm. a great show. And it's so crazy to see him as that guy and then totally yes. remember that he tucked his penis between his legs and said, would you fuck me? Well, you know, happens to the best of us. Right. We all need a paycheck, right? We all we all <laughs> got to pay the gas and lecky. This is it. All right, so who's up here, Jared? That's me, that's me. I am. Um, and apparently I want to drive and sleep <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> so my invention is pretty practical. Um, and I call it Robo Mike. Nice. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Now, okay. Robo Mike is a, as you would guess, a robot that will drive things for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at your drawing. Neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> I figured a, a, a you know a circular body would make it less stick figure-y, but I think I also was wrong with that. Anyway, <laughs> it makes it user friendly and less I, horrifying. I do try. I do try. So Robomike will drive things for you, and uh, you know, he drives things so you don't have to. You can do more That's important it. things like sleep while driving. <laughs> <laughs> I love to join in the round of applause. It's simple and easy. Yeah, exactly. All right, Mr. Tiggs. Okay. So, uh, yes, I need a way to measure pitfalls. This is this is the major problem. Um, I've employed a team of NASA scientists to analyze all of this kind of stuff, and uh, basically, we've come up with a. <laughs> <laughs> a device which allows us to see into the future. <laughs> and, uh, um, ask a what? Well, we're having a bit of trouble huh? with the uh, with the LCD display at the bottom. So you have to shake it a few times to uh, to get that to answer. And uh, predict your pitfall with a magic eight ball. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was all for the rhyme, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It was totally all for the rhyme. I love it. I love it. That's dedication to a joke. I like that. I like that. All right, so now we come to step four, the funding round. This is how we all get points, and it's incredibly confusing, so just have fun with it. Give your largest chip to your favorite invention, your second largest to your second favorite, and so on. Now let's make some money. So we have so, three chips? Yes, you will have three amounts of money that you can give away to players. Uh, if that person that you gave the money to reaches a certain funding goal, you make twice that money back as the investor. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, very interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Hello. I'm going to put 500 on that one, and then I think I'm going to do 300 on... I do like the lotion in the basket. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, 300 and then final uh, oh, amount is $100. Oh. And I believe that the, for this first round, you need to reach $1,200 is your funding goal. see which inventions are destined for greatness. All right, first up. In God, oh, God, I totally forgot they have to explain the rules every single time. Invest in a successful <laughs> invention and get double your money back. But if it fails, they keep your cash. Let's see how you did. Oh. I'm sorry, Dan. I failed to see how taking someone's skin is not murder. Nailed it. <laughs> hey! The duck right off doubled their goal. Uh, doghouse? Ooh, Maybe next time. only $800. No! Wait, but you do get off. to keep that $800, so good job. Oh, do I? Okay, yay! Oh, oh the jelly cinder oh. just failed too. Mm. It's political, I'm telling you. It is. <laughs> just like the Oscars. This is all rigged. Or the Baptist? Oh, Dead Shredder failed too. I like that one. Oh, for for real. God's sake. God, we just it's too real. I'm convinced the jelly is in the <laughs> and the robo mic had 400. Spectacular fail. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame the third party. Oh, right. This is rigged. So sad. I'm sorry, oh. Oh. but the inversion oh. bastard. Way. <laughs> yeah. Of course, made its fucking goal. Sick, so we had two people. successful inventions <laughs> that round. Well, listen, you don't want to enable that. Oh, God. I mean, I don't know. Bastard Incorporated seems to be taking off. It's still all right, isn't it, Bastard Incorporated? It is. It is. <laughs> okay. Yes. Final round now. We are all going to solve the same problem. And then, of course, we get more money to spread around in the final round. But basically, the whole process is going to repeat here a second time. Uh, curious me, would I hate the game host less if it were Cookie instead? Um... Probably, but I still feel like Cookie would talk too much. And that's the part that I hate the most. So, uh, the Cowlses, would you please choose one of the problems that have been sent to your device for us to pick? They basically get the leftovers from round one. All the prompts that didn't <laughs> nice. get picked, and then they get to choose from that. Okay. Oh, mine were horrible. Just, I hope we don't get one of mine. But oh, we, get them. Them. we can save them. We can save them. Just try I was going to say, they get the whole field. It's pretty great. <laughs> And then as as we go on and get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. As you so imagine playing this game all in the same room, everybody's drinking and having a good like this is a Oh, that would be amazing. That'd be fantastic. But then it would get all political and I get quite irate Oh my god. Chosen one. It's all politics. It tends to go more sexual than political. Honestly. Or maybe dark and more. Okay. Okay. Oh, I have too many inflatable chairs lying around my house. What are we going to do about that? Um. Oh. Hmm. Oh, we're playing. Wow. Okay. Great. Uh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. And then it. It, oh god, so many little lines. Why did I choose this? That was dumb of me. <laughs> Why is drawing so difficult? <laughs> you know what I find funny? Uh, musicians and actors tend to envy those who can express themselves physically creatively painters and drawers 
And then the exact opposite is true for painters and artists. They envy us. Yeah, but you know what though? No one wants a musician to bring out a guitar at the wrong point of a party. You're like, ah, oh, here, stop it now. Do you know? Or what from I mean? the wrong place. That's not relaxing for anyone. But I don't know if you see Basquiat over there in the corner painting himself. Like, I I think oh, you would just be a little concerned one. about somebody so introverted at a party. Yeah, at least he'd be quiet though. At least he'd be fair point. Alone. Fair <laughs> point. Very fair point. <laughs> As someone whose brother is recently okay, like decided to start learning guitar, I can attest to that. <laughs> Thank you very much. My flatmate's trying to learn the, the ukulele, and there's nothing more annoying than hearing someone trying and failing miserably at the goddamn ukulele. <laughs> a ukulele is the pony of guitars. It's yeah, ultimately well, this pony annoying. is this pony is like aged and dragged through the mud. This is awful. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go. That and. I like this game. This is fun. Yeah, good. I'm glad to hear I'm, that. Honestly, I'm loving it. That it's really cool. They've got a couple of others in this party pack that I like as well, but I think this is definitely my favorite. Um, one of the others that they have is a rapping game where you write no. lyrics in rap form. And oh, Tim! We, oh, you must. Oh, oh, and you an have AI to do the rapping actually one. reads them out for you. This is brilliant. You oh know, my goodness. Great. So you can sit there and play with the way that the AI is going to read your letters and say, oh, it's great. It's called Madverse oh. City. And we will, de like, if you want to, when we go to break here in a little bit, we can switch over to that game. Oh, I'm just saying that sounds amazeballs. That's awesome. Yeah, give a shot. Yeah, absolutely. Fortune favors the tellers. You know, when it comes to fortune telling. Indeed. <laughs> Which appropriately <laughs> tying back into the game was. I your know. Role. I see what you did there. I didn't <laughs> want to say anything. <laughs> oh, your time's almost up, guys. Time's almost up, and no, I'll... oh, God, I was fine. Uh, it's okay. I believe that it takes pretty much what you've got up until that point. So hold anything back. All right. <laughs> okay. My go. I have two minutes <laughs> lying around my house because mm -hmm. it's it's basically like a beach house around here. <laughs> so we have lots of inflatable chairs. We have a little drawing to show you how to get around this problem. <laughs> Speaking of Hellraiser, it's, it's it might not be an original idea, but yeah, it's definitely a little stick uh, stick person wearing lots of prickly things. <laughs> Because then you just amble around your house and you'll deflate them all by accident. Tim, you know what that reminds me of? The lawnmower man for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a little Christmas tree to me. But I yeah. Draw... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is called the sticker pricker. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's basically, one side it sticks, the other side it... Pricks. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> sticker pin and... That's correct. Six and breaks. He was really, really trying to avoid saying that, but yep, that's exactly what it is. Um, I like to say what people don't want to sometimes. I'm the, I'm the voice of the silent majority. Love it. We can stick <laughs> that's an amazing outfit. <laughs> All right, Mr. Tix. Okay. So. The problem, obviously, is lots of inflatable chairs being around the house. Mm -hmm. And so this is my solution. Basically, we're going to get lots of helium balloons, tie them to the chairs, and float them up to the ceiling. They're <laughs> already light anyway. Yep, up, up and away. Oh, that's awesome. Are you going to make sure that their wives die of cancer first? I don't oh, know. I think that's... <laughs> Wow! Dude, look, that was in the beginning of Up, okay? That's a joke about the beginning of the movie Up. It's not actually a target. Okay, yeah, that was really dark. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've seen Up, and that was still too. <laughs> right. So, as you know, um, you know what it's like. You you wake up one day, you're like, oh my god, what have happened? I've got all these inflatable chairs, and why are they in my house? So yeah. you're like. Uh, so it's, it, but at the same time, you've got this dichotomy. You're like, oh, but it's the thing that I want. Oh, I've got too many inflatable chairs, but it's the thing that I want. So to stop it all, we have a big stick of dynamite from <laughs> PNC. And, and it comes with its own boom. So you'll see it, even if you can't hear it. Boom. At first, what's I TMC? The boom was the chair. TMC is just normally you see that. I, I was meant to write Acme, I just remembered. 
I don't know okay. why I wrote TMC. <laughs> the movie channel. It's sponsored yeah. by the movie channel. <laughs> well, you do it significant in some way. And then it goes, boom, and now I'm done. There. Now that's what you do with all your inflatable chairs. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. <laughs> all right. And it is my turn. Um, so, in this post-apocalyptic world we have created, where all of us have way too many inflatable chairs just hanging around, <laughs> uh, I have a solution that I think is pretty unique. The pin bat. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, drawing inspiration from one of my favorite English films, Shaun of the Dead, a nice documentary about what I'm assuming was the, what the 90s were like in England. Um, we have the pin bat, a cricket bat that I have just put a whole bunch of nails in, and you get to run around and... Pop goes the chairs. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. nice and easy. Nice and easy. Straightforward. That's good. And get some, get some anger out while you're going, too. All right. Um, yep. I will present this bad boy now. We all know the problem. Too many inflatable chairs lying around the house. Mm -hmm. So yep. I came up with an interesting idea, and I call it the Hosey Helium House. Oh, Ooh. okay. Right. It's it's quite simple, really. Um, there's a house with a roof that detaches and opens <laughs> up. And all you have to do then is fill all those chairs with that helium and poof, problem solved. I see. The whole helium house. Fill them and fly them. <laughs> <laughs> that tagline works with so many things that are Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Clap all around. Fly him. <laughs> all right, and now we have our chat member, Dan, who also has too many inflatable chairs lying around their house. Let's see what they came up with. Assuming then that Dan is actually paying attention and hitting the button when they're supposed to. <laughs> that is the one problem with having that space open and not having them here in the call. Uh, as you, so, this thing pops all the balloons for you. It's a tax shooter. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like uh, from Blonde's Tower Defense. It's a, it's a little flash game from, God, back in the early 90s. Say that again. <laughs> oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> so there it is. From Tower Defense. There it is. Yep, confirmed. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now we have Rupert. Oh, this should be yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I don't expect too much from this. So this <laughs> seem, this seems like an extremely easy, solvable thing to me. So this is quite a brief presentation. Um, mine's called "It's a Pin." <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a pin. <laughs> Simple, elegant. I don't get it. It's a pin for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it now? Oh, oh, now I get it. Yes, thank there you. There it is. How about it home? That's amazing. Talk about a great profit margin on that. <laughs> it's, I know, I don't even have to invent it. I can just go out and buy loads of pins. How much would you charge for something like that? For that Millions. kind of convenience? What? How much would well, you expect to pay? This is something that I didn't expect to be a problem until tonight. Um, haven't thought about it yet. I understand why people will be concerned about the amount of inflatable chairs lying around the house. So I have uh, invented the sit and pin. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll, I'll let you draw <laughs> Nice ass cheeks. Yes. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a genetic implant firm, that you uh, it's a genetic implant that you get into your your uh, behind. Mm -hmm. So uh, whenever those pesky inflatable chairs are getting in the way, you can both enjoy having a, a quick sit down while knowing <laughs> that when you stand up, that is one less problem in the world. And I think that multitasking is very important. And mm -hmm. I just, this is the way past the problem. But I yeah. see. So, yeah, as long as you're sitting in the chair, the pins are going to stay in the holes and it's not going to deflate. There we go. And then as, as soon as you stand up, that's one less problem in the world. Brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. And then you've got another one to sit in. Put a pin in it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I approve. The sitting pin. Wow, I didn't see the title until just now. <laughs> All right, now it's time for our funding period. Uh, I'm trying to remember how much our goal is for this time. I think it might be 1800 
<laughs> All right, so yes, eight hundred dollars for your first invention, five hundred for the next, three hundred for the one after that. We've got the sticker pricker, the sitting pin, the pin bat, the up, up and away, the thing you want, hosey helium house. It's a pin and the tack shooter. So let's see what we've got. Hmm. Okay. And no, That's you can't vote for yourself, you greedy bastards. That's I not fair. This is political. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, a swing no. Only 2,000 needed for the funding goal. My apologies. Political! The thing you want? Sorry, Charlie. Oh, this, is mm. this is rigged. This is rigged. Well, you're in first place. Oh, but not anymore. Yes. The sticker oh. pricker just got a ton of money. I think they're bidding for the Christmas tree person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the Maybe pin bet only got 500. Oh. Damn. It's a pin. Well, Seriously? It's funding goal. It's a pin, well, right? It, it makes People sense. Right? And that, like, catapults Rupert in the first place. So sad. The tax shooter made more money than me, which I'm really pissed about because it wasn't even an original <laughs> goddamn invention. <laughs> the Jose it's Helium so House. And finally, the sit and pin, which made its funding goal. Yay! Yeah. But not even close because That's Rupert Booth, with a huge $9,300. Oh, if only it was real. <laughs> I know, for real. When do we get to play for this? If you, yeah. uh, well, you can go down to your local clerk and they'll take you right to the check from there. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yep. it was on the back. All Sorry. right. I love, I love this game so much. And I'm glad y'all do too. Like, seriously, it's a really fun, fun game, I think. So we're going to play another round here. Do you guys have any thoughts before we do? Uh, it can no. be like five minutes to go out and have a quick cigarette. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We can go ahead I've and take ourselves. I've been smoking outside of the hotel um, uh, window. It's very funny. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll, I'll be right back. No. In that uh, case, we're oh. going to take a little, uh, we'll say, 10-minute break. And then when we come back, we've got more Jackbox on the way. So don't you dare go anywhere. Enjoy the music during the break, everybody. Uh, and we'll be right back with our friends All over right. at Shapeshifting Detective. Say bye, everybody. All right. We bye. Bye for now. Hasta luego. Bye. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the second part of our uh, evening, well, evening slash afternoon. It's afternoon for me, eating for you guys. Uh, <laughs> we're playing more Jackbox games with our friends over at Shapeshifting Detective. Way. And hey. Hey. Welcome, hey. everyone. So the first uh, round was spent playing pay uh, Patently Stupid. We're going to do another round of that. And then uh, those who want to continue to stick around, we'll, we'll switch over to Mad Verse City. Oh. Does that sound oh, like yeah. a good point for everybody? <laughs> yeah, let's do it up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. In that case, we are ready to begin. Uh, press A to start. Gladly. And anyone, wait. There we go. I hit A. It didn't actually start. So, anyone who wants to go ahead and join in, please feel free to do so. Again, you can go to the audience by going to jackbox.tv, putting in the room code LFUU, which, as everyone uh, knows, stands for Looking for Umbrellas Urgently. Yes, especially if you live in Ireland. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, Anna Rosa, I haven't gotten to tell you yet. I have such good news. Tell me. I'm going to get to go to Ireland in March. Amazing, Tim. Good man. Awesome. When are you I, going? I'm going <laughs> March 15th. Oh my god, you're gonna be there for Paddy's weekend. You better believe I am. Oh my yeah. god, and he and he was never seen again. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm staying at uh, the Bloom Hotel, literally oh, yeah? downtown, like next to Trinity College, and I'm so amazing, so excited. Oh my God, you're gonna have a great time. I'm going to be Old in Griffin. Dublin for four Old days, Griffin. and then we're basically like going 12 o'clock straight north to the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. Amazing. And then working our way counterclockwise back around the island of Dublin. Oh, you're going to have a great time. Oh, I'm so, delighted for you. Well, yeah, awesome. Yeah, and then on top of that, still going to Spain in the summer. Like, Oh, well, then this is amazing. Are you going to hit Barcelona at all? You should try and, you could tr you should try and swing up uh, like to how, Barcelona how, or Catalonia. How far is it from... And it's going to be a, like, maybe like, a, I mean, you're American, so it's like six hours is nothing. Yeah, yeah, basically that's, I mean, here in Texas, especially six hours is less than a third across the state. 
Exactly. So that's just going to say hello and have a cup of tea with your neighbor, basically. So yeah, yeah. you should do that. I will definitely try. Uh, that sounds like a great plan. Cause Perfect. I have and no listen, idea cl I'm closer to the time in Spain. I can find out more info for you regarding, hello, like, that might help you with filming and stuff as well. I, so I know we'll that keep the, talking um, about that. The running of the bulls is, like, is what we're going to see specially, and that has a specific time to it. Exactly. So I'll definitely let you know. Perfect. That's good. Oh, yay. Go, Tim Lefwich. Yeah, I'm very excited. As part of this travel channel that I'm starting with my friend Mike, I am getting some very awesome opportunities that i feel so lucky for happy days well i'm delighted for you tim honestly thank you your potential the potential to invent and as lena said oh my god tap skip on my device to bypass the intro i totally forgot i can do that and we're skipping that shit because we're, we're pros at this by now right like we're we're consummate pros at this <laughs> all right market research to identify time those big problems will need to do a little market research on your device you're going to receive two fill it's in funny how I skip the tutorial anything and it still gives a tutorial voila, <laughs> a video now, games created problems get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative masterpieces so let's get to it all right our prompts are here um Hmm. <laughs> um, no, I can't do that. Mm hmm. <laughs> yep, we're going with that. Uh, how bad are you all being? Very. Very. <laughs> I'll go ahead and call that out right now. I'll, I'll be the first one to admit. <laughs> I apologize in advance. Just remember, life is an escalator. And if you're not careful, you could lose a toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, they're coming for me. Who's got the cops in the background? We're halfway home. Yeah, I think I can move them away, actually. Okay. <laughs> Keep a notebook by your bed for ideas. When it sits empty a year later, it'll be great ammo for your spouse to use in an argument against you. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We philo fax everything in our minds. Fair enough. <laughs> We don't need paper and pen. I actually have a leather journal that I had back in college that I wrote in incessantly about, oh God, I can't believe I'm gonna admit this out loud. My feelings for a girl. It's That's bad, y'all, it's bad. And I flip through it occasionally and I'm just like, you poor pitiful sucker. Like, Aww. oh boy. That's well, we all have diaries like that, though, Tim. Honestly, it's not just a male thing; it's a female thing. Yeah, yeah. Fair oh enough. God, yeah. I wish, I wish I was talented enough in comedy to like make a stand up about that, because there's enough in there to go on for days. Happy. <laughs> you got yourself a world tour there, buddy. Yeah, basically. Um. Hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. I've got a Brexit question and a video games question. I really want to tackle both of them, but being one traveler, I can't. <laughs> I think I'll leave one behind for later. You never know. The other one might get chosen in the next round. Fair, fair point. <coughs> Very fair point. That's right. This is when ideas become reality, using nothing but a pen and paper. But we ran out of paper, so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. And remember, color is... I always want to know what the name of whatever this invention was. The port loo <laughs> I mean, it's really smart flying toilet paper to just follow you wherever you need it. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. How do I draw this? <laughs> that's right, always let's try this. Right. Always the eternal problem. You have a brilliant idea. Now how the hell do I draw this? Half your time's gone already. I hope your drawings are coming well. I honestly think I'm going to hell for drawing this. <laughs> Excellent. 
It's yeah, always we'll when you have that the most confidence that you get dip, the most disappointed. Awesome. All right, I'm all done. We have two people. Oh, one person okay, left. Let's wrap those oh, up. There it is. All right. It's funny. Um, I've had people, you know, not be able to finish their drawings in time, and then it literally just takes the drawing wherever you were at, and that's what it gives. Hey, I really need that. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, title and tagline time. Hmm. Hmm. Done. I had to think about that for a second. I know my invention is remarkably simple, but coming up with a good name is always key to a market strategy. Take the claw bastard, for example. It's memorable. It sticks. And it's also yeah, slightly I'll sticky. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi there, Crystal Chesson, over on the YouTube side. Welcome. Glad you could join us. It's funny. I have so many freaking windows going on right now on my screen. <laughs> that, like, it's hard to keep track of everything, <laughs> even with two monitors. Maybe I should add a third. How many monitors is too many monitors? Not to rush you, but the clock's a ticking. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> so yours. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for the pitches. I hope you got your stuff in, bitches. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, for the most part. Well, that's the good news. You're here on the call already, so you can make up for your failings in typing in by just talking. <laughs> All, right. All right, Rupert, you're up first. So it seems right. Okay, so yes, I hate that everyone calls me Booger Face for two reasons. Um, one, I'm British. We don't have boogers, we have snot. So really, yeah. if you're going to insult me, call me Snot Physiognomy. Um, and, and second... I, I, I don't have snot on my face. It's so so it, it, it's all factually inaccurate and it really annoyed me. So I invented Massive Airfoot. Okay. Um, and Massive Airfoot is basically this giant flying foot that will, at your command, fly along and just kind of go onto your detractor. <laughs> Uh, um, which is why the tagline is to crush your detractors like the puny insects they are. How very so Python-esque. I love it. Sensible policies <laughs> for, for, you know, uh, I don't know, sensible times. Sure. <laughs> I can buy that. I'm done. I'll up now. Well done, Rupert. Who's up next? Thank you. Don't patronize me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I swear it was it. Clearly, I am not looking forward to my scheduled vasectomy. Understandable. Clearly. Now, it's not only that I'm just not looking forward to it. I literally can't look forward to it. So, what I have created is the force face forwards. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, it doesn't allow me to show the tagline because apparently I didn't finish that. But <laughs> you don't need a tagline when you have blinders like a horse would have that hold uh. your schedule right in front of you. <laughs> So the tagline is, now you can't help but look forward to everything. <laughs> <laughs> the force face forward. It. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Everyone gets the condescending claps. It's not just you, Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is our chat member Caboose here. Let's see what they have. Hey, Toby. It looks like you have a problem. Oh, you bet Lena and Toby are going to present for them. There's a very real risk that they I may spontaneously to combust. That is a problem, but I think I've got just what you need. Let's see if we can get them to call. chill out a little bit. 
What do we got? <laughs> Apparently, this person forgot what to draw. That's they, fantastic. Uh, they don't know. And... Well done. Oh, well done, Caboose. Genius. Yep. Is the view account gone down one? It's okay. It happens to the best of us. There was a second there where I, too, forgot what I drew. I just happened to be able to click on something and remind myself. <laughs> oh, okay. boy. So, yeah. Uh, I'm afraid of chicken, which uh -huh. is actually, you know, something that happens a lot. It's a very serious issue. Um, yes. The problem we've identified is that you're trying to eat the whole chicken when it's still alive. Uh, as you can see at the top of That's the, the top illustration. Drawing. Yeah, I understand. Rookie mistake. That's the before. <laughs> and then uh, what? how we solve the problem is um, we've invented this device that looks an awful lot like uh, a gun. Mm -hmm. it does. Um, and Specifically it, a shotgun. It's a gun. It is a um, chicken popper. Oh. Um, and basically, it solves the problem of the chicken being alive and you choking on it. Um, bang, bang, you're breaded. Bang, bang, you're bread. Dead. Yeah, that. I get it. <laughs> they eat live chickens. Yeah. Now, once you blow the head off, how do you deal with the running around afterwards? That's the part that always gets me. Get him in the, shoot him in the chest. Mm, mm, I see. <laughs> well, I keep getting interrupted while playing video games. It's, it's a problem that comes around a lot, and this is an actual solution that I used as a child, legitimately for real, not a joke. I would often sit up late at night and cover the television and myself <laughs> with a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> and assuming that the blanket would block out all ambient light from the television, I assumed that I would just blend into the night. It was my blanket fort. And if you can't see them, they can't see you. Ah, <laughs> nice. Sound logic there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, right, right. I totally Clearly. thought that Clearly. that would work as a kid. It did not. Not at all. <laughs> oh, I mean. All right, so I will present to you my idea for this invention, which is a, a big problem for many <laughs> things. I want to commit genocide with my family. Now, how do you go about that? No, well, question, is that Geno side of people or is that genie side of genies? No, I, I well, it could be either or. You see, the merry murder is the uh, the the solution that I have come up to for this very real problem. Uh -huh. uh, as you can see, there is a family <laughs> up on the top uh, uh, of this ginormous pit. And you could, I mean, anything that you wanted could go into this this pit of death. And uh, the lid, as evidenced by the hinge there, the lid opens and closes and you can just shove however many people, animals, genies you want in there, where they will eventually <laughs> tire and drown while you and your family enjoy a very nice day Marcus. together. And actually you can tie that in with a previous invention, which was how to measure your pitfalls as well. Which was well, there we go. Dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> question time with the family while killing other people's family. That does not say time. Family vacay. Just a little slip there. Well. Just a little slip. Nothing major. A merry murder. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, Mr. Tiggs. Okay. Oh. It's a pretty amazing question, actually. I'm way too old to ask. <laughs> Uh, which is which is dangerously close to the truth, must be fair. Um, so, this is my invention, stop it. It's basically a gun. And what it does is it shoots special rays. It is the old age Isla. Interesting. <laughs> because no one's old if you're all 2000. There's the trick. I was wondering where that was going to go. I love it. I love it. A r talk about a wrinkle in time. Ah. Wait, All right, Miss Anna no. Rosa. <laughs> Sorry. I'll see myself out now. Bye. So here's the thing. Um, You know what it's like. You've got a boomerang and you're going to launch it. And it keeps coming back to you. You're like, stop it. What are you doing? Stop. And uh, so there amazing. you go. So my, and so that's it. So I've invented the <laughs> fuck off, just fuck off, and it's just floating words that will leave you. So feck off if you're uh, not from Ireland is a polite way of saying fuck off. And every time your boomerang comes towards you, your words will float and almost they'll ricochet. The, the boomerang will ricochet <laughs> off the words of fuck off, and uh, and basically it's uh, whack off, fuck off. 
fuck off. Oh, uh, I love it. I love it. When you throw it, you're just so mad. And you throw it away. You're so you mad. Say, so you're off, so mad. Then... You conjure up the words "fuck off," and in fact, it can double up in lots of other situations. You know, ex boyfriends and girlfriends that won't leave you alone. They keep coming back. You're like, "fuck off." Yep. Uh, <laughs> anything that comes back to you repeatedly that you don't want it. I think the boomerang is just a metaphor. Now you can just build a barrier effect. <laughs> I'm done, uh, and that's it. And now I'm done. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Great time for funding. Job, wow. Those are some. Oh, wow. This is going to be a tough round. That's some good damn inventions. It is. one, And if I, if, and if I fail, it's political. It's all rigged. Of don't, course. No, no, of course. It's all yeah, yeah. The Eurovision. Okay, yeah. Nil point. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right, so our choices are the blanket fort, the force face forwards, the merry murder, the massive air foot, the old age atizer, the chicken popper, the feck off, and of course, forgetting what to draw. So, $500 for your first. Um, <laughs> then $300 next. Hmm. <laughs> I regret that I have, but only so much money to invest in these things. <laughs> All right, let's see how everyone did. Twelve hundred dollars is our first goal. That's that's lofty amount of money. Oh my god! Oh my god! They go on for so long. <laughs> they do talk a lot, don't they? It's mm. like the flow of the game gets completely interrupted every time they want to talk about something. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Hey, I I'll gave you, you that hundred dollars. I believed in the old age eyeser about that much. Maybe next time. Oh, oh I like that oh, one. <laughs> Sad for the merry murder, but he gets a thousand dollars richer. Ooh, a what? Oh, oh. oh, this is political. Mm. This is all political. <laughs> then we've got the forgetting what to draw. Wow, forgetting, forgetting what to draw still what? made some money. I thought that was going to win. I invested in that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the feck off. Wow, the feck yeah, off. Oh, double it's double political. It's political. It's political. Yeah. Yeah. Very political. Very <laughs> political. Thanks. <laughs> the massive <laughs> airfoot. Oh, too. It's almost a relief. You, you missed a word from the massive airfoot. <laughs> oh, 100 short. And the chicken popper. Aww. So sad. Aww. Good evening, money, We just love each other too much. The money gets spread around too thin. Okay, for the final round, let's switch it up a bit. Instead of all right. Uh, mm. He's getting spicy now. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> We're going to give you more money to invest, but now... What's funny is I totally didn't even get to see who was on top going into this next round, but I don't even think it matters. Like, the amount of money that you earn in that second round is so much. Simply select the problem you want everyone to solve. All right, Anna Rosa. Okay. Pick us a winner. Um, or a loser, whichever's funnier, really. So, so what happens now? We just have to pick something, yeah? Yeah, okay. you just got to pick one from the uh, the rejected choices, and you know the words okay. they're saying about please choose one of the just follow what they say. Mm -hmm. the, the words okay. there, Bob. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether to go controversial. <laughs> oh, should I go controversial? We write that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Damn it. Well, I I didn't write it, so whoever wrote that, be it on them. Is there a non-fun way to catch it? Oh boy. Uh, well, remember I do have a sensor button over here if things get too raunchy, but honestly, that usually only gets broken out for bad stuff. Wait, 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 wait. I have the perfect idea. I'm so sorry, yet not sorry. This looks great. We're halfway there. Oh no. Oh no. I'm just noticing. So I'm drawing a whole bunch of spikes, okay? I want you guys to picture this. I'm drawing a whole bunch of spikes with my mouse. 
And the way that a mouse draws a thing is that when you let go of the mouse, it makes another circle at the end of a long line, and it looks like I'm lining this thing with a whole bunch of very inappropriate phalli. Well done. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah. yeah, it's bad. Bravo. So at what time is it over where you are, Tim? Um, I'm currently at 1.18 in the afternoon. So you're right. So you've just draw, drawn like a plethora of phalli at 118 in the afternoon. Good. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Basically. That's good. That's what we you do know? here on Twitch. I don't know if you've Happy. ever seen Twitch IRL. I mean, it's it's pretty okay, bad. Let's make That's good. Yeah. What are we having for lunch then? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. We're All doing... right. Write a title for your invention. I mean, clearly this is the controversial round, right? <laughs> yes. A little bet. bit. Well, if we're going to go on to the, to the wrapping robots here in a minute, you might as well go ahead and put it all in here. Leave it all in the field, as they say. Boom. Mm. See, here's the thing. Catching AIDS the fun way is basically the tagline I want to use. But I can't because that's the question, you know. It's kind of uncouth to use the question and the answer. Oh, how uncouth. Ugh, abhorrent. Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> That's half your time. I refuse to apologize for this one. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be it, and I I kind of do actually feel bad about that, but I hit enter, so it's too late. That's probably oh, how he caught it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. It, I mean, all of this is being recorded, and that's the worst part. <laughs> You've all got dirty minds, that's all. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, dirty doesn't begin to cover the cold, <laughs> dark place that my heart is, but yeah, yeah. Okay, this is your last chance to Time for the. So oh god, the pitches. Whoo! Here we go, Mr. Tiggs. You're up first. Good luck. Let's go right on down this hill. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I need to cut AIDS the fun way, and AIDS opposite. <laughs> The uh, the name of my butterfly, which I've lost recently. Uh, <laughs> so I've I've invented a net catcher, and uh, I had a tagline, but apparently in the opener, and it, my tagline was "I'm ten, and what even is this?" <laughs> <laughs> I love. It. So was your butterfly named AIDS? Yes. It's excellent. So it's your age catcher. I got it. I got it. That's great. <laughs> All right, Miss Anna Rosa. <laughs> okay, so you know, AIDS. Catching it the fun way. So what we oh sugar, it's I forgot for I will okay. Oh no, it's presented for me. I forgot to press the button. Anyway, so shut up woman. Yeah, just yeah, just talk over. And basically the tagline is doggy style. And it's basically no, but you get a very cute puppy to lick you. Oh, I see. Okay. Very well done. Yep. Thank you very much. Sex sells. So getting that title out there. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So let's brush over this and not not get any more controversial. <laughs> oh, I, are they still talking on my behalf? Yes, oh, they are. Woman. Exactly, Stop right? Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. I'm so glad you share my annoyance. I really do. Okay. I'm still laughing at the butterfly named AIDS. <laughs> he doesn't have a butterfly named AIDS. Goodness <laughs> sake. So, there was an invention earlier. Yes, he does. There was an invention that was brought up earlier. I see. Money. I feel like it would be ah, very yeah. good here. Uh, that that, okay, that okay. could be very useful for a way of catching and distributing said AIDS. Um, we're going back to the sticker pricker. That's right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the sticker pricker, which unfortunately looks a lot more like its namesake than I wanted it to on mine because, well, Mouse does funny things with the end. Age your fellow man with the sticker pricker. I told you. I feel bad about that. Multi pull points. But I still hit enter. Thank you. This idea. Now, how do you catch AIDS the fun way? Well, you enlist the help of the catch it quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> catch it quick. It is a great activity for you and your partner to enjoy. You see, I think the thing about AIDS is that it's uh, 
it's a, it's a two-person job. And so this is an invention that two people can enjoy together the fun way. And so what we have here is a very large net where uh, you and your partner... butterfly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your yeah it goes back to the butterfly net. All <laughs> together. But the thing about this idea is that the AIDS is actually spread over the handle of the oh. net. It just in the net. You could get anything. <laughs> but I can guarantee that you will have fun while using it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. boy. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> Rupert? Oh, God. Okay, so apparently I need to catch age the fun way. I don't know if there's any other way to do it. So what's more fun than a clown? Um, uh -huh. In this instance, a diseased clown. Uh, who kind of looks like oh, this. God. And he goes, boing. Because clowns go boing. They make noises like that, don't they? Don't they? Um, I... Look at him. Look at the diseased clown. Um, and his tagline is basically uh, abhorrent, nasty, diseased clown. So the Don't first thing that comes to mind, Horrible. and and the only way that I know this is because of, I, I happen to watch like the big fat, big fat quiz of the year and stuff like that. It, it makes me think of um, Mr. Blobby. Am I saying that right? Blobby. Oh, Mr. Blobby. Blobby. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what I think maybe, of whenever maybe. I Mr. think Blobby of the disease. Probably had AIDS. All right. Looks like he's got something. That's for sure. Okay, so, I, oh, it's doing, it didn't give me, okay, so it, it ran away without my pushing the button. So, clearly, I need I to catch that. age the fun way, right? Yeah, so, yeah. I am <laughs> throwing back OJ's bloody glove, because not only is it good for oh, some things, you can help catch things with it. So, <laughs> maybe he didn't do it, but you sure can with OJ's bloody glove. Wow. Catch that age. Wow. <laughs> if the glove doesn't fit, you've got That's... AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> and if the glove does fit, you've got AIDS. <laughs> wow. All right, we've got the pile. Wow, the pile is definitely a place where you would get AIDS and probably chlamydia and probably gonorrhea, E. coli, and a bunch of other diseases, too. The pile. So sorry for making this card. <laughs> you brilliant bastard. Never apologize for this. This is a gift you have given us. Oh, hi, sorry. Hi, what's going on? Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. We, we decided that... Um, the, obviously, this wasn't a sexual thing. Mm -hmm. No, because oh, Reebok would have done the sex bastard. So instead, <laughs> we think it's about swimming aids. Because, oh. you know, sometimes they're in the pool, there's too many of them, you've got to get them all out. It's, you know, it's, it's, oh. it's a drag. But you want to make it fun. You want to make it fun. So, um, oh my God, I've shown the title already. Rubber me up. <laughs> Here's the drawing. Surely the title. <laughs> there you are, standing outside the pool, arms up, you know, splayed, ready. Getting them. Uh, I just got it. Thing. That's what we're talking about. You see the little sleepy lounge thing. Oh, there. is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. And, yeah, and there's some like rubber rings and stuff being thrown at you. There's the pool, and our tagline for this: <laughs> cover me in rubber. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna, you know, you're never gonna drown, are you, with all that on? What, what's the yeah. thing laying, I assume, on the ground next to oh, the dude? It's like, it's like a lazy boy or something, whatever they call you know. Yeah, like one like, of those oh. big old pool floaties. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> oh my god, I love that they're ring shaped. Do they have, do they have protective tips on the end to make sure that you don't accidentally pop them when you jump in the water? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, obviously 99% yeah. yeah. <laughs> safe. Blimey. Now let's say I... No, I'm kidding. Never mind. We're going to move on. We're moving on from that one very quickly. All right, time to vote on these wonderful inventions. We have the Sticker Pricker Part 2, OJ's Bloody Glove, the Catch It Quick, the Disease Clown, the Net Catcher, the Rubber Me Up, the Doggy Style, and the Pile. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now, what are we voting for the most effective? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Vote with your heart. 
And not with Clearly, your lymph nodes because those would vote. not be functional anymore. When AIDS is involved. <laughs> oh my god. Let Aren't me you remind all glad you, you said yes? somebody actually wrote that, okay? Aren't you all glad you said yes to today? <laughs> <laughs> You could have been doing any number of things, but here we are coming up with inventions for up. AIDS. <laughs> You're welcome. How did you spend your Saturday night, Joe? Oh. Yeah. Wait till you tell your friends. They'll be so proud. <laughs> Close, but oh, oh, man. Thousand dollars for the bloody glove. Too bad. So sad. What? Maybe ah. The catch it quick only had 600. Really? Oh. Mm, I thought that was such a cute way to catch diseases together as a couple. Oh, Honey, so close for the disease. I club. like that you one. Deserve to fail. <laughs> the rubber me up. Oh, what? securely made its funding goal. Got the rings. It was, it was fucking brilliant. I like That's that why. one. That was good. Yeah, All right. name. The sticker pricker. Sorry, Charlie. Got about as much points as it deserved. Thank you for that. <laughs> I like the fart sound it makes when it doesn't succeed. What? How did the pile? <laughs> I, guess, I guess as a thank you for um oh there, it's oh all political God. it's all political the doggy style wins <laughs> sex sells in this industry what can i say it really does oh, but yeah, i guess passing like getting the pile beyond its funding goal was really just a thank you for putting that card in <laughs> and the cow well done, are our oh, thank you <laughs> You just, you just, you just, you just made sure you, you were nice and lubricated and slipped yourself into victory. <laughs> Good job. Oh, God. Try saying that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Isn't that just a horrifying, horrifying mental image? All right. So that is the end of our second game of Patently Stupid. I love this fucking game, and I'm glad that you guys seem to as well. Is that correct? Yeah, I really love that. Good. <laughs> really good. Good, 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 good. I know that those, I mean, those of us who are coming back, we're kind of excited to be here, but like Jared and, and Anna, I'm really glad that you guys latched onto it as quickly as you did, because- No, thank you, you know so much. Oh, and on yeah. that note, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go now because um, we need to start our romantic weekend getaway. Plus, I understand. I've just been here playing patently stupid. And to be honest with you, I'd rather stay and play more with the robots, but I got to go. It's okay. <laughs> I understand completely. Um, we decided last time that this was hopefully going to become a semi-regular thing. I never. Oh, I hope so. Because this was so me. much fun. This was honestly. Thank you so much, everybody. Absolutely. Thanks. So we'll let Miss yeah. Butler go. Uh, we'll take ourselves a sh another short break as we switch over to our second game. For those who are choosing to stay, is there anyone else who is going to head out during this break? Uh, I'll pop out right. for a break, but I'll be back. Copy that. So oh, then yeah. everyone else will we'll be right be back here. here Right here on twitch.tv slash Tim Leftwich. Thank you so much for the follow. Sometimes, Joseph, don't you dare go anywhere. Enjoy the music. Bye. Break, we'll be right back. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our third part of today's stream where we're going to continue playing Jackbox games, but this time we're switching it up into Madverse City. You know so the way that Madverse City works is we're going to be a couple of rapping robots. We'll get prompts that basically right, allow us to rhyme with pre-written verses, and you get a pre-written verse that ends in a rhyme that you make, and then you get a free line. Pre-written verse with a blank, and then you get a line. Mm-hmm. They give you a beat, you rap to it, and that's it. What's the word, Shadow? No, 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 no. They can stay. It's fine. I don't care if robots destroy the city, do you? Check it out. It's time to get it in. Grab them mics. Does everybody feel pretty confident in this? <laughs> time to get them lyrics Good. Down. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So we have a couple of things that we can do while we are writing our verses. Uh, once you write your verse, you can actually go in and destroy parts of the city. It's pretty fun. Okay, so. Hmm. I need a singular noun. Okay. A magical being? Yeah. Okay. God, how nerdy should I be? <laughs> Remember that you'll have to rhyme with that word. So as nerdy as you want to be, as long as you can be lyrical.
So, okay, so the second prompt is, says, insert dopeness here. Is that like, do we have to write a whole line with that, or...? Yeah, a, yeah. a, a line to rhyme with the first one. Excellent. All right, my verses are written. And now I'm going to destroy a very expensive building, because that sounds like fun. <laughs> and what's funny is I believe the audience members also have similar capabilities. If you're logged into the audience right now, you'll see a list of things like call the train, get the latest news from the ticker, destroy a very expensive building, destroy a not so secret hideout, informant's garage, and destroy the 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 Tensionis building. I don't really know what that word is, but I don't care. All right, so four of our contestants are locked in. Make that five. Waiting on Rupert. Excellent. There it is. Ugh. Let the rap battles begin. All right. So we've got me versus Linda, Rupert versus uh, uh, Jared, and Mr. Tiggs versus Joe. Steven, Joe, y'all are going to have fun. All right. Oh, boy. They go in. I don't know if it's a set or not. Okay. I think it's from the top down. My words are so fresh, they smell like a roll. Leave you feeling really quite troll. <laughs> it's scary, call me MC Mino Paul. Come into my maze and we'll leave you Mino Sore. That's right, son! <laughs> leave you Mino Sore! What, what? I'm pass on that, because this is your first time doing this, but don't ever come back with that wackness. Your turn! <laughs> Get ready! <laughs> I just straight up got insulted by the game. Of tone. I make typos where I wipe my wraps down. <laughs> come in a tube like a runaway motorbike. Better mind your feet, because I'm going to drop the mic. Oh, snap! <laughs> <laughs> so now Boom. we get to vote on whose rhymes right, were iller. I love the designs on the robots, too. Are they fucking great or what? Just old, antiquated technology. I know, I really wish we had it written out, so we could see what they, uh, what they... To actually have a comparison. Yeah. 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 They didn't stick in your mind, is what you're saying. <laughs> Nothing was <right>. Ouch. Out. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> All right, the votes are in, and with a four to two vote, Linda and Tim are the winners. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and they got a bunch of cheers, too. So great job. You won a lot of money with that one. So people, uh, the audience, are able to put in cheers and jeers for the various raps as well. Alright, Rupert. Sure, booth. Light the fuse, then I'll explode like a unicorn. Hit the sky and oh, no. like a man. Huh! Babies with the sound of my yawp. And vomit pure gold from my temporal warp. <laughs> nice! <laughs> from the sound of my yawp. You can do better than that, though. Time for you to answer. Can you write yourself in a bit of a corner? Put yawp. Here we go. A regular unicorn. I walk real <laughs> tall with only my one horn. <laughs> I'm too hot. My body's made of jalapeno. If you touch me, your soul shoots to Reno. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I can't believe you both went unicorn for your opening round. I know, right? Yeah! Check it out. That's about as rare as. Well, a animal that I can't oh, think of. Oh, right yeah, you got him rolling today. <laughs> um, let's see. Mmm, tough choice. Oh, tough choices. And with a total of seven votes tallied, ooh, ooh Rupert squeaks close. it out with close. a four to three close. victory. So close. Absolutely. Oh, I produced a rose from a gun hand. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> that impressed me. I was delighted by that. I'm easily pleased by simple things. Santa's got help. I got my crew. You ain't got no one, and no one's got you. Oh! I'm rapping uh. fantastic. Total dynamite. Wow! That's some great lyrics. I gotta admit, Motorola phone over there is curled up in a corner as he should be. Uh, let's see what Joe's got. My lyrics are dreams come true, make you joyful. 
Your raps make my ears bleed cause they're bloody awful. <laughs> I'm a master teacher. Your whiny voice makes you an irritating creature. <laughs> Not holding in if you die. <laughs> All right, so also that round good. is over. Let's see who the audience picks. Is it going to be Tiggs the Tamagotchi or Joe Motorola? That's a pretty cool nickname. I might nickname that. Actually, it is, yeah. Joe Motorola. <laughs> Joe Motorola. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Ow! <Ouch. laughs> wow. With 100% of the vote, Stephen walks out of here with a huge win. Congratulations. With some. Okay, I, th I think that Tamagotchi is not going to go hungry for a while. Did y'all have one of those back in the day? Tamagotchi. Never had a Tamagotchi. All right. It's time to get right. I had one of the off brand versions because my parents were cheap. But it was definitely one that was pro programmed to die a lot. <laughs> hey. uh, make, uh, also, give, give me a nun, but not like N U N nun. <laughs> N O N E. Anything. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 so that wasn't the right thing there? No. Nice. <laughs> Um, I messed up on the tenses of words, and so now I don't have a proper sentence to rhyme with. Fuck. Uh... Thinking this through properly. Um, it's like the 12 plus all over again. I think I prefer this one just because the drawing part is non-existent. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, uh, your drawings have been a lot better in this one, Jared. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> I have been trying. Is that your banner ad on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting on me. Yep, there we go. Done. Finally, Jesus. Oh, I wrote myself in a corner something awful. I am not looking forward to this. One of the best ones though, when it all goes horribly wrong. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. If I had money, I wouldn't buy you a used tampon. But I'll give you some advice you can chew on. Gross. Just a question, what's up with your anus? You should get it checked by Dr. Seamus. <laughs> I'm so glad they actually knew to rhyme Seamus with anus. I was wondering. <laughs> That's a smart AI. If you don't know you better loosely. <laughs> rather fresh. My fruits come juicily. You're oh no. Just like Backstreet Boys. Go back home and play with your Backstreet Toys. <laughs> That's right, son. I made lemons out of lemonade. I totally just screwed myself with it with the first word. The first word that I put myself in. No. Because it said adverb, and I was like, adverbs are words that end in L-Y, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll set none. Give me a none. <laughs> so we did. As expected, <laughs> Joe walks away with that one. See, doesn't that make up for your first round, Joe? I was in. I need my next two couple of MCs. You might actually be able to afford a new phone. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The only chance you got is one in a trillion. 
That's huge ass number. Like one in eight trillion. <laughs> You're gonna go right and left butt cheek. Because that's where I'm gonna slap your ass. <laughs> Damn! Gonna leave a handprint! Right. What? Like <laughs> or at least a little, cl little clamp mark. You tried to get in, but the door went to fish. <laughs> Got you on the line, player. I'm a hot dish. I'm not safe for work. You're an episode of Scooby Doo. Like a ghost in a skin suit, I see right through you. Oh, shit! Nice. <laughs> nice. It weren't for them pesky kids! <laughs> <laughs> the bell has rang. Vote to see who was the dopest MC. Look, we gotta be our own hype men around here. No one else is gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we see none, we're gonna have that one like that one over. Is it the door on a fish? Damn. <laughs> and with a huge margins, Linda yeah, well, and Tim walk away with that round handily too. They're gonna be the undefeateds in this round. All right, Tiggs. You and Mr. Booth, go for it. <laughs> You're not allowed to hype away. Especially not in the A of the bank. Uh-huh. You are as overrated as a yogurt. And really repetitive, so I shot you. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the point. Straight to the point. <laughs> Using that A B A C uh, rhyme rhyme machine. <laughs> Using the, not making it rhyme. Going to tear you apart like a robo toy. That's some good stuff too. Well, let's see what the audience thinks, shall we? So who's going to be? Mr. Tiggs or Mr. Booth? Mm. And with a total of six votes, going to Mr. Booth. Wow. Blimey. That is a clean sweep, my friend. Good job. Another Sorry. round for you. That's so, hyper wanking. That is. That's <laughs> hyper wanking for you here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always worked for me. <laughs> and the scores adjust again. Rupert slips into the lead. Lynn and Tim in second, and Joe in third. Same drill as before. So now it's time for our final round. Into your brain and pull them lyrics out. Let's see. Um. Okay. Mm. Great. What rhymes with janitor? <laughs> Not so. I don't know. Who is that? Oh, you're a Boros. Thank you so much for the follow. I love your username. That's great. Lots of frantic typing. Ooh. That's me trying desperately to figure out what to put. <laughs> oh, you get quite a bit of time with this one, don't you? Yeah, you get three whole minutes. Yeah, that's quite a bit. That's, that's mm -hmm. nice. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Now how to phrase it. God, I hate parking garages. <laughs> I still want to destroy those informants parking garages. 
I keep trying to do that, but it's not having it. Is it? Oh, hello. Oh. Yeah, get rid of that. Sorry, mate. So yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, of course, being the last one in again, I don't get to destroy shit. But I'm glad y'all got to do some destruction. I love that, like, the game keeps that destruction going throughout the... And it's kind of a neat little side mini game. Yeah, shit, yeah, here it goes. Your spit and chewed food. Uh-huh. Looking at me like a lewd, rude dude. Damn right. <laughs> You're not the boss of me, not even my janitor. Oh, shit. Get out of here, you silly, rank amateur. Uh, oh, amateur with drop janitor. them, Mike. That's yes. rhyming, son. Oh, here it comes, Tim. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, boy. The reprisal. What you got, Jared? Say what? I heard what you said. <laughs> That's the last four. Mm-hmm. going to get some more teeth to add that extra torque. Oh. <laughs> taking your worst, and I'm still spinning. But hell, you know what? I'm sure that I'm winning. <laughs> oh. Getting that wrench out with the extra torque. I like it. That was some good shit. Let's see what the audience thinks. <laughs> it's the VHS versus the boombox. Tension is powerful. Mm-hmm. Right. With a total of five votes. Oh, man. The slimmest oh. of margins. <laughs> I squeak out a win. Woo! That was close. Let's move on, <laughs> Maybe I just. Next match, next battle. All right, Joe versus Tiggs. What do you guys got? You sound like a dying whale. Your lyrics are full of epic fail. <laughs> you, you're softer than down. You're a duck face lyricist, a total ass clown. <laughs> oh! I'm the ass clown. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, it's your turn now. All right, Joe. One look at you and I want to poop. <laughs> Besides oh, your that's face awesome. makes me want to puke. <laughs> I will have satisfaction. I will have happy. You will have sadness. You will have crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I see who's going to go to to win this one. <laughs> <laughs> and with a total of six votes tallied, it's a tie! Because you said you thought he was going to win. I know, I know. Yeah. I was totally wrong. Everybody voted, and we got our winner. But I think that then it goes on the number of cheers that each person right got right to declare oh, an actual match. winner of the bout after that. Gotcha. Yeah. You're a beastly bear. I'm an elegant sloth. So, sitting here hitting fire and boo actually does count for something. You're riding my coattails like I'm a train. Also, Sloth and David Lee Roth is a great rhyme. It's gonna mash your brain. Let's keep it moving. Where the next spot at? Grab the mic and get busy. Alright, Rupert. If you were dying of thirst, I wouldn't give you a Sambuca. But you gave me the filthy Luca. <laughs> I hear you talking like you're the queen. Which upset me so again, I shot you. <laughs> <laughs> I see we have a theme developing here. I mean, he literally has two gun hands. One has a microphone, one has a Yeah, what else can I do? <laughs> yeah. And anger issues. Even his hugs are guns. Maybe they're straws. Maybe that's how he drinks. Oh, I Possible. see. Just two more chances to do it. <laughs> and with six votes, wow, oh. five to one. Uh. Lynn and Tim walk away with that one. Great job. And now we got our That's inappropriate. Nice job, you know. Your little celebration dance there is inappropriate <laughs> for public. It's such a button. Yeah, right? <laughs> and we have a winner. With wow. almost a million dollars. A rap FMB. And it's right. Yep. That's it, that's it. <laughs> Come on. We said one, uh, Mad vs. City, which is actually a good bit shorter than Patently Stupid also, just because it has fewer rounds and less to do. So, uh, would you guys like to play again? Uh, well, on that note, as it's eight, I have to go at this point. I understand. It has been about two hours, so, I mean, would would you guys like to go ahead and call it here? Uh, I'm easy either way, to be honest. Say that again? I'm fine either way, to be honest. I could do with the loo again, but apart from that... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, in that I case, probably... I think...
Go ahead. I should probably call it myself. Yeah, in that case, I think we'll go ahead and call it a night here. This is a good place. Two hours is a good length, I think. And um, I don't want to keep you guys any longer than you have already been graciously given your time for. Um, right. So, unfortunately, as much fun as we are having, we must call it a day here. Thank you all so much for coming out to hang out with me today. Like, this is literally the highlight of my month. I want you guys to know that. <laughs> this is so, this is so yeah. much fucking fun. Thanks for having us, Chop. Say it again, Steven. Thanks for having us, Chop. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's always pleasure. my pleasure. Um, go around the horn, guys, and, and give everybody your Twitter handles. We'll start with Tim and Linda. Uh, yeah, we're at, at the Vecca. At the Vecca. Yeah. 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 Excellent. And Rupert? Um, at Rupert Booth, predictably. And, and Joe? Thanks. At Joe, and then underscore more. Underscore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got to get the underscore in there. Mm. <laughs> Uh, Jared, what's yours? Yeah, yeah uh, at JT Nameless, as Excellent. the name implies. And on the screen. Steven. On screen now. On screen now. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, Steven? Uh, at Brit Tiggs. Brit for British. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> but they call him Mr. Tiggs. Uh, and my name is Tim Leftwich. You can find me at Tim Leftwich on Twitter or YouTube, youtube.com slash Tim Leftwich. Or right here where you've been watching this the whole time, twitch.tv slash Tim Leftwich. Look online for when we get to do this again. Same Tim time, same Tim channel. As always, we'll see you next time. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye.